competition how many accents can I do? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and now it's time for carpool karaoke with the Russells. Let's see how good a singers they are. No, just kidding. So, um, very good. <laughs> now I'm gonna do a little interview of Sandra and Ian to introduce them to you. Okay, so Sandra, you married a British Ian. Yes. But, but, your, but yours has a British accent. So what I wanna know is when you were a teenager growing up, did you have it as a goal to marry someone with a British accent? Yes. See, yeah. you did a good job achieving that goal. <laughs> I did not do so well. So not only does Ian Russell have a British accent, he actually has a few because he's a voice actor who does various British voices. So you were explaining to us earlier, Ian, that your natural voice that you speak in regularly with that accent would be described as... Received pronunciation. With northern overtones. With northern overtones, yeah. Because <laughs> I say grass and bath <laughs> instead of grass and bath. So if you were going to do a, a, a proper northern accent for us, like a, a Merseyside accent, what, what would that sound like? Like from Liverpool. Well, that'd be like the Beatles, wouldn't it? It'd be like that. I'd like to say that my name is Ringo and I'm the drummer of the Beatles. Where did you live in Scotland again? Uh, Scotland in the northeast of Scotland, near Aberdeen. You're supposed to be telling me about that in a Scottish accent. Oh, I'm sorry. I lived <laughs> in the northeast of Scotland, near Aberdeen, <laughs> a place called Bancry. What were your favorite favorite Scottish foods to eat? Uh, butteries and Are... grease pies. <laughs> Batteries. Did he say but batteries? Batteries. <laughs> batteries. Are those the square sausages? <laughs> no. Oh. Batteries are like a squashed deep fried croissant. <laughs> oh. They're, and you eat them for breakfast. They're really good. Oh, well, I'll take anything that's bread and fried. And a grazed pie is like a uh, minced meat put in a, like this boiled pastry and it's hot and you eat it and all the juice runs down your chin, it's lovely. And okay. I used to think when I was younger that when they were called Grey's Pies, I thought they meant grease because of all the grease. <laughs> but, but they weren't because Grey's Pies was the lo Grey's was the local baker. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. That's funny. Okay, so, so... So, more colloquially, I think they're known as Scotch Pies. Oh, you know, I just saw that. I just saw a Scotch Pie, so I'm gonna have to explore that further. All right, so back to you. I like your Ray Winston when you're London. Ray Winston? Well, you're gonna come over here so I can Get your kneecaps. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I could do more, more Jimmy one, more, more, more sort of like you know, cheeky chappy London one. I could do that. <laughs> there you go. Can you do a West Country accent? We like West Country, like that. Like, yeah. uh, we like, we're from Somerset or something, like that. You've got to, <laughs> like uh, the S's have got to become a little bit more Z's. And when you go to Bristol, you go Bristol, like, it's more like that. It's like a Bristol, like that. It's more really from Bristol. What are you saying? What are you saying? Wandering the pheasantry, I met this new friend from Essex. Hi, my name's Jackie, and I'm an Essex girl. I was born and bred on a little place called Canvey Island. Essex girls have a terrible reputation for wearing white high heels and da dancing around white handbags, but I'm pretty much a home bird, and I love my ass. <laughs> and I love my ass. And just so you know, she said house just it then. It was house. <laughs> house. Essex girls drop their ages. <laughs> I love it. Thank you so much.